So what we did was we started out with a late model roller block. We put an Eagle rotating assembly in it. We got the ARP uh, main bolts in the bottom end. We got uh, a whole forged rotating assembly. I hand filed all the rings. Put that together for you. We got a nice hydraulic roller camshaft picked out for you. We put the Edelbrock heads on here that Matt takes apart. We change all the springs and put better seals on here for oil consumption. Uh, then we finish them off with some manly push rods, some stainless steel rockers. We upgrade the valve train to a 7 16 stud instead of a 3 8 Makes a fantastic valve train, unbreakable in our recommendations. It works. We have an Edelbrock intake, MSD distributor, Flytech, EFI, and a beautiful full boat Mort Serpentine kit. Our MSD distributor, the weights and springs have been changed, so uh, it's all been dialed in for you, so we know that it's going to make about uh, 3,000. Oh my God, it shows that for a second. Pretty far. So we got it set up, so all the mechanical weights where we have a full advance at about 3,000 RPM, and we set our base timing at about 12 degrees. Uh, we use 20, 50 weight of oil in all our engines. It's in there now, you can use it for a couple hundred. After that, change it and stick with that viscosity. We need oil on bearings. That's what you do with performance engines. Uh, the Flytech EFI system, Matt, got this all dialed in for you. It will get better as the car runs. It's a learning process with these computers. We've got the beautiful Mars Serpentine kit on here. There'll be a belt on it when it's done. And of course, we have a 160 thermostat in this engine already. Uh, we got the dual sump pan at your request. We must have the Mustang Cross member over here. We've got that on here for you. And the back of the engine is where the flywheel will go. What we ask everybody is to hand fit the converter into the back of the engine. Make sure that converter fits in and out of the crankshaft, still be able to spin smoothly. If it doesn't, you need to clean the snout of that converter. It's very important. Make sure that's done because we don't want to push the thrust forward and we're out of thrust bearing. That's a no-no. Uh, again, if you have any questions, give us a call. I want to thank you for your business. Enjoy this motor, and uh, again, happy motoring. Thank you. There we go, nice. We got our handheld there. Come down here, we got it all set up here. That's got, yeah, it's gonna come down to about probably 8.50 on that RPM.